This is Prince Dykes here, the Royal Financial Investment Group. I know I've been gone for a little while, uh, promoting my new book, Wesley Learns to Invest. Um, so let me jump straight into it. It's just what's the hot topic right now is Greece and the uh, risk of them defaulting and all this other good stuff. And how is it affecting the world? The Dow Jones right now, it is 4 a.m. here in Hawaii. So that means it's 10 o'clock over in the States. And I think the Dow Jones is down about a hundred and 104 points right now, but that's besides the point, right? So this is how I look at it. You know, this is whole Greece thing when we're looking at a company, not a company, but a country that's getting ready to default. And, you know, now they shut down the banks. The banks are saying, hey, people can't come into the bank. They only can draw this much money. So pandemonium is going wild. Of course, you know, imagine here if you couldn't get your money, how everything would go to crap real fast and how you have so much chaos. So as you can see here, what I have pulled up is the a ETF was a uh, ETF, if you don't know what the ETF is, please uh, stop this video and go check out one of my videos. What is the ETF? So ETF essentially attracts something, right? And just like we hear how we have the Dow Jones here in the United States, where we can see the overall gauge of the market, how the market is doing. In Greece, they have the uh, ETF called Greek, G-R-E-K, as you can see up here, right, that I have typed in. So as you can see today, it is down 15%. This is Monday morning. It opened up down by 16, 17% today. And it may go lower or whatever. Because everybody's in fear. Of course, you know, the stock market they're talking about closing is chaos, right? So everybody's fearful. Everybody's like, hey, everything is bad, whatever. Now, of course, when something like this happens, it's going to drive down the Dow Jones. Now, when I look at this, I look at situations like this and I say, hmm, I see a gold mine, right? People may say, Prince, how in the heck can you see a gold mine when everybody's running? I remember back in 2008 when I very first took my own hand into investing and everybody said the world was about to end. We was, in a, we was going through a presidential election in 2008. We was on wars in two fronts, which was in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, gas prices was through the roof. Um, unemployment was through the roof. The auto industry crashed. The financial industry crashed crashed the real estate industry crashed the government was crashing people was getting laid off left and right um the the value the value of the dollar was at an all-time low everybody's like you know get out of the you know the world is coming to an end right and then you fast forward now 2015 when the stock market has tripled <laughs> you know its value the dollar strongest it's ever been unemployment is at an all-time low all the other good stuff right also, let's take it back to the Great Depression, right? It went, 2008, they considered the Great Recession. Let's go back to the Great Depression when the dollar was worth nothing, banks closed, all this other crazy stuff. And you look at the stock market from 2000, from 1929, from the Great Depression until now, it's gone dramatically up. So me, I don't think a company, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think, this is, this is me, Prince Dyke's uh, view here, I don't think a company, a country, is just going to default and be blown off the side of the world like nobody knows what happened if i had the money personally and i think about all these wealthy people around the world if i had the money to go buy a country i would if i had the money to build out a country i would so what makes me think that somebody around the world wouldn't bail out this country euro i know they're on the euro right now if they was on the euro they wouldn't if they if they wasn't on the euro or if they on the euro however they decide to do it Greek is coming back. These are the times I look for. This is what I thrive for. So you got to think about it. When you're talking about buying assets, you know, things like houses, stocks, anything that gains value over time, when things, that's how we create bubbles when we buy assets. As assets do better and better and better, people buy more. That's how you create bubbles. When something is doing good, when people buy, people buy on the upside. When it's doing good, hey, it was $5, and now it's $10, now it's $15. As the price go up, people buy more and more and more and more. When they should be buying less and less and less, that's when they should be selling. Then when things are going down, that's when everybody wants to sell. When That's when they should be buying. So I look at this here, and I say, wow, look at this thing. It's completely crashing. Greece is going through some crap. This might be the perfect time to buy. So let's take a look at the chart. Let's look at I'm going to go to, I'll pull this chart to the max. So we can see here, uh, I had a peak 
last year when it was selling for about $25. And now the ETF is going for about $9 or $10, half its value. Do I I don't know when it'll be back up here, but it's going to be back. You know, it may not ever get to 25, but it'll be here to 20. I can see that 15 to 20 range, and I want to make money off of it. So what I'm going to do, what will be the gold mine is I'm going to buy this ETF. And the also good part about it is, guess what? This ETF pays a little dividend, 1.32. So I'm going to buy this ETF. I'm going to hold it for the long term and collect the dividend along the way. Now, the short term, how am I going to play it in the short term? Since I know everybody thinks the world is about to end in Greece, I'm going to buy puts on it. So I'm going to hit the options. I'm going to look at here to July 17th. And I'm going to buy me some puts. The people who already brought puts, I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. I didn't think about it. You know, I didn't think it would get this far, but it happened over the weekend. But the people, let's take a look at the people who did buy some puts on this uh, contract. Look at that, a 96% return. Some of them had over 100 and some percent return. But that's how it is. But anyway, I'm not going to waste you guys' time. I'm not going to... Uh, tell you guys anything or what else you're going to do but i'm just letting you guys know my long-term position i'm investing in greece my short term i'm going to bet in against in greece, bet against greece how am i going to go long term with it i'm going to buy the etf in greece and also short term i'm going to buy some puts against it which i already did today and i'm probably already up so i got to get on here and check that but anyway thank you guys for watching oh no, yeah you know what if you comment on this video, not the YouTube, whatever you say, if you comment on this YouTube video, hashtag Wesley Learns to Invest, you just won yourself a free soft copy of my first groundbreaking book. So go ahead, comment below, hashtag Wesley Learns to Invest. The first person that does it, you get yourself a free book. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Till the next time, be safe. Yeah.